Podcast. Welcome back to the Goons Podcast. Need a little more energy. Welcome. Welcome back. Yeah, that was really bad. Uh, Welcome back, Chuckington. I'm good. Thanks for asking. Damn, if your name's Chuckington, say Chuckington in the comments. <laughs> Chuckington. Welcome back, Chuckington Shank. Ooh, it's more specific. Of what? What, what is that? Welking, is well, that a welcome name? back, Chuckington. I found a funny image I'm going to share with you guys. <laughs> that that okay. the viewers cannot see. Yeah. Can you? Can somebody take out Mr. Beast reacts in Portuguese out of the? That's not a funny place? picture. What? Just sections of a cow in Korean. <laughs> Literally just a <laughs> Japanese cow. Why are? Can someone tweet that from the goons account so the people will know what we're referring to on Twitter? <laughs> yeah, sure. Why? Yeah, why? sure. <laughs> That's on. What do you brand. mean? Why? It's a cool screenshot, Goons NFT, live now. Make that my phone wallpaper. It's literally our NFT. Why? Who? I'm about to get mad. McNasty, what are you asking? What is that, like, light green bullet-shaped part, like, in the top? It's a, a filet. Oh. It's filet mignon. Why aren't the balls highlighted on you this You see that thing? like you expect me to know. Come on. It's sirloin. I'm high school. It's a sirloin. That's, that's, what? It's a sirloin. I think it's, I think it's the ching bong ging gong ging. <sighs> okay, okay. Well, you, you can't, you can't say I that. I think it's Listen up. scribbly. Listen up, ramen noodle. Why is there a little happy face on that's a cow? The, that's the anime part of the cow. <laughs> cow. That's anime. where the lolly lives. <laughs> you say the lolly? Yeah. Why did they label his, the cow's ass as round? What? I I can't read that. I don't know. It's a happy face. How do you some... not know how to read Japanese? Oh. It, well, which language is it? You guys don't even it's know which language it is. It's Japanese. You inconsiderate fucks. You just call me inconsiderate it's, for not knowing? Dude, yeah, you're what? inconsiderate. You've obviously never been to a bar mitzvah, and it shows. I, I haven't. I'm not Jewish. Yeah, so. you little Jew baby. Little Jew baby. <laughs> I'm not a Jew baby. That's why I haven't Jew been to a bar mitzvah. You want to do cry about it? <laughs> I wish we had a Jew in our core group. That'd be cool. Why? I don't know. Ew, why is the English one there? Get rid of that. No. Oh. Now I can read Japanese. <laughs> No one's gonna have any idea what the fuck we're talking We just spent about. five minutes talking about a cow labeled in parts in Japanese. <laughs> For some reason, I don't I don't know why. Where'd you find that? I found it on Wikipedia. I had a question that's that somebody asked, and I feel like we're now don't not care. qualified Didn't to, ask. to answer it. Only they cow picture. Like, how to make a successful podcast. One hour cow picture. They asked yeah, us? See, that's what we're doing. Yeah, that's what <laughs> I'm saying. They asked one. us. And we've been sitting here for... <laughs> Tip one. Post cow picture. Talk about cow Tip picture. Tip number one. Shut <laughs> up. Yeah, don't talk. <laughs> you talk too much. That would make for an awful podcast. <laughs> All right, well, we can just do a shut up podcast and not talk. Talk about cow picture. One hour. Talk about... You want to spend an hour talking about the cow? Talk about cow. Talk about cow. Talk about. Mm. Okay, <laughs> this has been AIDS. <laughs> it's, this, is, this really is the worst one. <laughs> well, here's your note to take: be yourself. Be yourself and be nobody else. Even if you're racist, just be yourself. You're perfect the way you are. <laughs> Change for no one. <laughs> anyway, I think anyone told Hitler just to be himself. And then he just That was probably <laughs> their biggest regret in life. He's yeah. telling him to be himself. He could be anything he just wants to be. Just be yourself. You didn't you didn't get accepted into art school because you were trying to copy other people. Just be yourself, be unique, come up with your own ideas. And that was bye-bye to the Jewish population. Isn't that shit crazy that if he had just not failed out of art school that World War II may have never happened or may have yeah, happened he really later. went into he really went into Minecraft creative mode IRL on that one. <laughs> Yeah, that's my favorite thing to do in Minecraft Creative. Holocaust Genocide people. time. <laughs> Just putting furnaces everywhere. You really modded <laughs> Skyrim with that one. Everyone goes to the nether. Well, it wasn't everyone. It was actually a very particular group of people that went to the nether. If you are not Steve Minecraft skin, you go to nether. Auschwitz had the first nether portal. <laughs> oh my god. You should get that put yeah. on a quilt. <laughs> I'll have my grandma start then, working on it. <laughs> my grandma couldn't because she don't have arms. That's funny. Stupid grandma. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, she lost on being retarded. Bite <laughs> <laughs> what? them off? Yeah. What'd she do? Nah, she can't because she doesn't have teeth either. 
<laughs> Did she aggressively color outside the lines until they just fell off? Nah, she was just using crayons too much or something. Yeah, that's kind of just what I said. But whatever. <laughs> this is so dog shit. <laughs> Uh, what are you guys doing for Thanksgiving, turkey fuck? Hanging out with family. I was going to go to my family, but uh, don't want to get sick. Hanging my family. <laughs> don't want to get sick, so staying home. You don't what? You don't want to go to Thanksgiving? I wanted to, but uh, the people that I would normally go with are sick right now, and I don't want oh, to get sick, so. That Not is fair. Lord. Why don't you just take the shit that's inside of the turkey and wrap it around your face? That's COVID compliant, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Wear that on a plane. Wear a whole turkey. I wonder if, like, that would be allowed as a mask, like, if you entered a plane with an entire... People would probably think it was, like, human, and then, like, call the cops. Uh, yeah, humans and turkeys look really similar. I could see Yeah, that. they do. You ever seen a turkey? <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, can you get through yeah. TSA with a raw-ass turkey on your head with your head just in its ass? I don't know. Just, like, cut out little eye holes? Someone I have try no it. idea. You know what the acronym for raw-ass turkey is? Rat. You're not doing that. <laughs> Stop this doing time. that. Shut up, acronym man. Give me everything you got for that raw-ass turkey. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Thanksgiving was two months ago here, so I'm not really... Didn't you ask. Didn't this one. Fake you did, American. actually. What thanks do you have to give up there, anyway? What are you grateful for? Um, yeah, that's what I thought. First world country stuff. Oh, that's true. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Water. Do y'all eat the same shit for Thanksgiving up there that we do, or what? Um, Turkey well, dressing I don't know. What you... and shit. Uh, cranberries yeah, yeah, yeah. and whatever the fuck. Hockey yeah. pucks. Yeah, <laughs> hockey pucks. Moose ankles. A little bit of McDonald's McDouble. Ooh. Um, a Tim Hortons coffee. Beer glasses oh. full of syrup. Yeah. Hockey tickets. Um, yeah, glass no, that's, that's shards. Normal, normal stuff. Okay, no glass shards. Feathers. No feathers. Half of a cloud. Deep fried pigeon poppers. <laughs> I, I feel like that actually be okay. Moose asshole lining. Pig slop. <laughs> lining. <laughs> make sausages out of it. Yeah. Yeah, no, we, we don't need any of these things. No, no, definitely no Seasoned concrete. Seasoned mud pie. <laughs> what is mud pie? Fudge, but it's shit? not fudge, it's just sand. <laughs> now, what do y'all actually eat, though? Normal stuff, like turkey Green stuffing, cranberry plastic. sauce, mashed potatoes. <laughs> normal shit. Steel. <laughs> Hardened gummy worms. Tannerite. <laughs> Shrapnel from an IED that went off last week. <laughs> Syringe plungers. I'm not in Lebanon still. I don't. <laughs> Bootleg Avatar <No>. DVDs. <laughs> Bootleg Avatar. Uh, you can't ever eat any of the real ones. We gotta save those ones. A yellow Walmart cart pusher vest. Only the bootleg. Aren't those the vests for the a dog? The the greeters. You know they wear them on the lot yeah. too. Yeah. They have to be reflective. <clears throat> Greeter Griffin. <laughs> Didn't you already make the Greeter Griffin joke? Greeter Griffin. Uh -huh. I feel like that's old content. I feel like that's like 2019. Favorite Thanksgiving content. food? Go. Green bean casserole. Amen. Because it's green. Uh, so good. Mashed potatoes or stuffing? I don't know. I like them both. You would. Mm, who's stuffing? Probably cheeseburger. Nasty, did you say cheeseburger? Uh, cheeseburger. Cheese bunga. Bunga cheese. I imagine American Thanksgiving uh, kind of looks like the. Uh, Oh my god, what's a Will Ferrell movie? Tell Dega Nights. That dinner they're having, <clears throat> where it's just every single fast food chain possible. Yeah, you love to stereotype people, don't you, Blark? Yeah. Put them in this I do. little uh, section of beliefs that you have. Yeah, yeah it's not yeah, cool, Yeah, Americans man. are uh, extremely fat and stupid. Yeah. So I like to all box What do you think about uh, certain colors that people have on their skin? Yeah. <laughs> you make any judgments based all. on that? Okay. Yeah. They're awful. <laughs> we got him, we got him, we got him. Apparently, <laughs> this podcast in, sucks. <laughs> is it Japan? In Japan, I think it's like a tradition for them to get like KFC over there or something because they think Americans do that. I don't know if it's for Thanksgiving or Christmas. Wait, really? Yeah, there's like that's there was some hilarious. big marketing that's, campaign where like this adorable. guy over there he fucking lied to the Japanese people. And now <laughs> they, they get fried chicken like every Christmas. Was it the Colonel that lied? The Colonel himself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's if that's true, that's actually fucking. If we hilarious. didn't already fucking bomb them enough, we gotta just get them fat with fried chicken now. It's a little more American <laughs> culture for you there. It's actually fucking hilarious if that's true. Oh, I forget what I was gonna say. I had a question for you guys. Mm. 
Hold on, it was in our comment section. Talk amongst yourselves while I find it again. Among us. Among us, among us. <laughs> Out of us four, who would be the imposter? No, we're not going to go with that. <laughs> Wait, what? Why'd you say it like that? <laughs> which goon is which part of the cow? I want to be the <laughs> We're ass. not talking about the cow anymore. Um, I don't know if we ever talked about this. Ram. I saw it earlier. Did Have any of you guys ever been in a, a physical altercation, like fight or anything? Nope. I think we've uh, answered this question before. Did we? I think so, a long time ago. No, I, I pushed a kid to the concrete because he got me out in Foursquare when I was a kid. It's about as physical oh, as I thought you were going to say, when you were like a full-grown man... You put a kid's just... concrete foreskin on the... What? Yeah. <laughs> Did I stutter? You killed a teacher on 4chan. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, I basically... I killed Jackie Chan. Oh. No, no. <laughs> I didn't get to... I killed Jackie Chan. <laughs> <laughs> really devolving. <laughs> I pushed a kid in Foursquare. I killed Jackie Chan. Okay. Yeah. That's... Makes that's sense. something. <laughs> I heard he's not very good at Foursquare. Uh, one time, my sister was trying to get me off of her, and she hit me in the nose, and then... Oh, why were you thing. on your sister? I got this cool thing out of the closet called chloroform. Mm. I don't know if you guys have heard. That first, uh, the first part of that sentence was kind of... Yeah. I got my sister off. Oh, <laughs> but, but the, the chloroform was fine. Yeah, no, <laughs> it, was only, it was only the first part. That was fucking weird. I, I just heard my sister was trying to get me off, and I didn't hear the last part after that. <laughs> Well, she wasn't trying very hard that day. <laughs> That's why I had to use chloroform so she could finish. <laughs> uh, Bad joke from the goons. <laughs> Permission to shit my pants. Are you, are you, anyone else? Permission you, granted. Any, okay. Soup, I'm surprised you haven't been in a bar fight. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Uh, What's the matter? In my adult life... Soup's a delicate little flower. Yeah, in your adult life. my adult life, I don't... I'm trying to think. Uh, no, I don't think I've... I haven't been in a fight recently. Mainly because I don't want to get sued. Yeah, that's kind of a problem with that, isn't it? Yeah. Lame. That's why yeah. I just hire people to do it for me. Okay, yeah. well, I'm glad you're using YouTube money for something. Yeah, yeah, dude, that's the good thing about YouTube. See, people watch our videos, we get money, so therefore we can... Give like twenty dollars to a fucking cracked out meth head to go whoop people's ass for us. <laughs> and what are, what do they have to lose? Nothing. Absolutely. Their nothing. life? Well, that's already meaningless. So. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, okay. Uh, They're no, basically subhuman beings. So. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I watched Breaking Bad. I've seen it. Worthless. Yeah. People. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about all that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I'm on the same page with you guys right now, but. Yeah. I have a question. Nope. If you can say one thing to President Biden right now, what would you say? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Probably something similar to that. Uh, a moogoose. I can't, I can't imagine he's the most fun to converse with. Yeah, probably it's not. It's kind of hard to talk to a fucking dead yeah, guy. Just, yeah, just take a if little nap. If you could say one thing to John Cena, what would you say? Where are you? I can't see you. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this is great. <laughs> that was the yeah. best answer you could have given. <laughs> Where'd you go? Is it really? <laughs> Where are Where you? Where are you? <laughs> no, uh, I'm so wow. sorry. Okay, give it a rest. Give it a rest. We are. Are we washed up? I feel like we're washed up. No, I haven't. Sh I haven't showered today. And Dallas already said that. I have not showered. <laughs> That's not what I meant by washed up. <laughs> <laughs> Stinky Everybody podcast. wash up for dinner. <laughs> why don't we? Why don't we ever wash down for occasion? What does that mean? Go roll in the mud? Would that just like go? Go yeah, just mud go outside and just dry hump the earth or something? Like a dog. Pretend you're. What is wet hump? If there's pretend dry you're humping. Caterpillar. Wet humping is just sex. Yeah. What? Nobody's like. Oh yeah, I wet humped this. Bitch. Wait, what is that? That's how do you is, have sex? dry humping? What is? What is wet hump? No, what did McNasty say? He said this is sex. What is that? What you, what, oh, Bonner, oh, he's doing a bit. He's doing, he's doing a bit. Okay. He's doing a do impression. Just, oh. Yeah, let's play charades. Haha. Uh -huh. Vagina Bonner. <laughs> Great play charades. I punched a kid because he called me the F word. And I, I told him to quit calling me the F word. Why did and he call you that? Was it deserved? Well, I was... <sighs> Well, this was like two days ago. Oh, 
And okay. Oh shit! Yep, I'm getting raided. <laughs> 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 said that so casually. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking sucks. <laughs> Man, we've been doing this, this for 20 minutes. The worst. This is actually the worst day of my life. Our brains can only handle one podcast a week. I'm trying to think of the last time I got into a physical altercation. Like, genuinely. McNasty, you ever been in a fight? Nope. He said he didn't. You've never been in a fight. Mm -mm. I've never been in a real You've fight never been either. punched? I tried to be in fights when I was younger, and then... You tried to be? I st stood up for myself. I was getting picked on in school, and nobody wanted to fight me. Oh, well, you were, were probably huge. picked on the six foot seven chonk. Yeah, exactly. Why did somebody pick on you? What'd you get bullied uh, for? Were you a little stinky nerd who picked his boogers? A shit is. talk. A little stupid little nerd. A little dumbass little bitch. Shut up, Arab. <laughs> Sixth grade was scary for me because all of my all of my friends that I had in elementary school and like my friends that went to other schools that were gonna like conjoin and make a little Chinese finger trap of a classroom, you know? When you kinda all come into middle school, you know what I mean? What are they yeah. doing in middle school? No, I actually have leave. no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> when all the elementary school gangs join up for uh, middle school, you know, right in sixth grade. Yeah, there's less middle schools than there are elementary schools typically, right? So wait, really? Wait, you guys have well, separate schools for that? They all can join. Yeah. yeah. Oh wait, so like, like grade one, up to wait, you said grade six? Like those are different fifth schools. Fifth grade, K th kindergarten those are different fifth schools? grade is you, typically. Yeah, nice. you have like kindergarten, fifth grade, and that's all in like an elementary school. And then we have middle schools. Uh, which are sixth through eighth, eighth grade? Yeah. Oh, that's not how it is here. Yeah, six, really? seven, and yeah, eight. No, we, and then high school is nine. That's not 12. how it is here in California. I, I, that must be a East Coast thing. Yeah, I don't know. I've never for me, heard it's, that it's elementary Canada. up to sixth grade. Then you have seventh and eighth middle school. No. Oh, okay. what the fuck? M my first year going to a new school, I somehow lost my fucking lottery, and didn't get classes with literally anybody that I knew. Damn. Well, and, which dude, is wild because, that yeah, sucks. I had friends from elementary school and I had friends from other elementary schools and I didn't get classes with fucking any of them. And so, yeah, my first year of middle school sucked because I didn't know anybody. <clears throat> and there was this girl who had a crush on me or whatever, but... Punch her in the gullet? <laughs> Where's this going? <laughs> yeah. No. Her, her ex-boyfriend okay. was this massive Mexican dude. Who was like? Who had been held back, dude? He had oh, to. No. Dude, he should have like been like thirty-seven. Dude, he should have been in tenth grade. <laughs> like he had a fucking. He had a like full mustache. Oh my in god! Sixth grade. What the fuck? And this girl had a crush on me, and he had like a little fucking cartel, dude. He had some friends. What do you and there mean was he had big, a little cartel? He, dude, he had some friends, and they were some he was big running boys. They drugs were scary. In grade five. They were fucking <laughs> scary, bro. And I didn't like this girl. I didn't. I didn't fucking like this girl, dude. I didn't like this girl, and I definitely didn't like her after seeing big old fucking Mexicano over there with the mustache. <laughs> I'm like, I don't want nothing to do with you, woman. Damn. Yeah. Okay. And dude, did, did, you like, get, we would, did you get your ass beat by El no, Jefe or no? No. But, like, at lunch and shit, we would get to go outside and just, like, it wasn't, like, recess or anything, but you just get to, like, walk around and, yeah. and hang out and shit. And, dude, these guys would just, like, stare me down the whole time. Like, no matter where I... It was like, I always feel like a Mexican's watching me. Maybe, maybe he was... Maybe he was... What? What was that? Maybe he was gay. <laughs> that was Rockwell. He just thought you were attractive. No. That is not <laughs> the case. Sure? And I had a bottom locker, which <laughs> fucking sucked. And one day I was at my locker, and he just, like... I don't know you if it was him. just stuck his cock in your ass while you're bending over? <laughs> <laughs> I was, <laughs> I was like, silly. on my knees. <laughs> and I just started sucking this big old Mexican jalapeno <laughs> dick. Jalapeno <laughs> <laughs> dick. Somebody, I, I think it was them, because I was, like, genuinely afraid to go to school. Because I thought, I was like, dude, I'm just waiting on the day I get my ass whooped. You know what I mean? Or beheaded. Put but on you, just have, you, can, you have that, like, knot in your stomach when there's, like... Three fucking grown ass men no. looking at you, and you're a little fucking sixth grader. Uh, yeah, you just know you're gonna get your ass beat. And I, well, apparently you never did. Well, he shoved. I think one of them shoved me into my locker, but I didn't get to see who it was because by the time I had gotten back up, I turned around and no one was there, and I was like, "What the fuck?" 
So I was like, all oh, right. Maybe it was a ghost. ghost. What the <laughs> fuck? It was the ghost of Mexican past. It was the janitor. <laughs> just a teacher. Just, just El Chapo's to, dog. Just tried to dry hump your ass, but he went a little too hard. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty scary, though. So I just I went to the principal, and I'll, I just complained like a Karen. Oh, you little bitch. Wow. Dude, I, I, didn't brought a gun. I would have died. I would have died. <laughs> like, Not if you brought a gun. Take it like a man. These guys, these, there were three... Mexican men with mustaches, and I'm I don't you even are really I'm barely, making the point that they're Mexican, I, dude. They were huge, <laughs> you are they really were huge. rubbing that part. I know like five foot two Mexican dudes. What's yeah, that? Yeah, but mean? when you're you when you're a sixth grade white boy, you're like four foot two, and you, you yeah, barely know okay. how sex works. I don't, what is how is that, that relevant? Really matters. <laughs> <laughs> this, this story's taking a lot of weep. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, I'm glad you didn't get beat into a coma I'm not. by some Mexicans. Maybe it wouldn't be such a bitch. <laughs> Listen, if they would have been my age and it would have been one of them, I, I probably wouldn't have said anything. That's all I'm going to say. But you didn't even get in a physical altercation, so you know what? You're still a coward. <sighs> I guess you got a point. So did you go to the principal and say these Mexicans... Are yes, picking and on you know me. what? And you know what? <laughs> These Mexicans with mustaches. She, she, before I even, I, before I even said anything, she immediately knew who I was. She talking had him about. deported because that I wasn't day. the only one. I wasn't the only one that complained. Oh, so, so they were like actually running up like a cartel on you, on your yeah. school. That's yeah. wild. That's kind of cool. Yeah, that's honestly so. kind of that's 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 the uh, that's the grind. Yeah, definitely right cooler than me at the time for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for and sure. And still to this day. It's not hard to do. <laughs> True. It's really not. Anyone else? Any physical altercations? No. Nope. Not me. Uh, my fun? Have you guys had any, like, like almost? Or, like, somebody tried to, like, beat your ass or something? You almost got jumped? Like, anything exciting? Nope. My, my brother made out with a girl in, like, elementary school and then threw her in a trash can. <laughs> her in a trash can? Threw her in a trash can, Was yeah. this recent? Yeah, he's still in elementary school. <laughs> he doesn't have to be in elementary school. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could just be one of them yeah. Is that not what you're supposed to do with them when you're done? Yeah. <laughs> just, <laughs> just throw them out. Them. <laughs> throw the bitch out. Yeah, but you have to put them in recycling. <laughs> Oh yeah, true. <laughs> pretty progressive nowadays. You know, yeah, this SJW shit. You got to put them in recycling. You get canceled if you put it in regular <laughs> trash. That's, that's SJW shit. Is recycling your woman after using them? <laughs> Holy God. She's good for one more use, I guess. I won't throw her away. <laughs> They'll melt her down and repurpose her. <laughs> somebody's trash is somebody's treasure. All right, here she goes. <laughs> Damn, that's some real shit. Take out her eggs and sell them. Oh, that is. That sums up having what? exes is, in a nutshell. Is there a, is there any context behind your brother dumping this this woman in a garbage can? Uh, uh, I don't remember the whole story, but basically, uh, he was a, a baller back in the day, so he kissed her, and then he what, to look. How old was he? Uh, f like fifth grade. Oh. Okay. And uh and to average baller age. Yes, yes. <laughs> and uh <laughs> rolled up in the El Camino every day with his hose. <laughs> well, you know how it is when you're young, you don't have you don't understand like social norms and stuff and you don't no, you're, you're not like embarrassed about whatever. anything. You're just out there fucking every day. That's you're right. Just, That's right. <laughs> just laying pipe, yeah. doing crack. Fifth grade, dude. I remember fifth grade. Yeah. Wearing backwards hats. And I think to look cool in front of his friends, he and one of one of his other friends picked her up and threw her in a dumpster. That's actually pretty horrible. That's pretty douchey. <laughs> awesome. That is the coolest thing. No, no, he's an alpha. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Average dude. I don't dude think brother. he got in trouble for that. <laughs> Average dude, brother. Yeah, why would he? <laughs> what do you mean, why would he? He threw a bitch in a dumpster. <laughs> yeah, he should have got like a fucking gold star for the day or something. I don't know. $20 cash <laughs> reward. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Daniel moment. Uh. <laughs> Oh. There was a there was a kid at my school that's that cool. used to always put, yeah, that's the whole story. There was a kid <laughs> at my school. Um, no, he used to uh, he used to put condoms in girls' lunch boxes on recess, and they could not figure out who the fuck it was for like a year. And I don't know where he was getting the condoms from. We were probably in like grade seven, <clears throat> but he eventually got caught, 
And he, he got expelled for that. But yeah, he used to literally just, that was his whole bit. Why? Just put <laughs> condoms in girls' lunch bags. He's being I don't like know. helpful. I, no, they were like <laughs> open, unraveled, God knows what oh, he did with them. Oh. Yeah, they were not like. <laughs> I yeah, thought he was trying no. to be like a Planned Parenthood <laughs> little. No, 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 no. They were like out of the packages. I don't think there was any nut in them. Otherwise, that's probably like <laughs> that, like like felony level. Yeah, that's um, not good. Yeah, dude, my school was actually for being like a little fucking white kid school in the suburbs. Like, I was one of the few Arab people at my school. It was all just little thank God fucking dude. little Karen babies walking around everywhere. They were <laughs> fucking the horrible. Dude, they used to siphon gas out of the teachers' cars and like what the carve fuck? shit into them. There is one teacher, they bullied her so fucking bad, she would cry every day. They would literally just say, uh, every time she talked. <laughs> like, <laughs> every single uh. time she would do anything. They'd just say, uh, they carved uh into the side of her car. They siphoned her gas, slashed her tires. Like, dude, they were fucking what awful. The shit? Yeah, the kids in my school were dog ass. I've never heard <laughs> it's of, like grade seven. Never heard of that. I mean, it's better than what? taking a gun to school, I guess, but. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess that's like, that's their version of like taking yeah. a gun to school in Canada. Cause, Did y'all ever have to know. do those little anonymous surveys where they ask you questions like, how many times did y'all come to school with drugs or how many times did y'all bring a gun? What? No. Is that what part the of the fuck? DARE program? No. Dude, no, we would like randomly throughout the year, I remember getting these little, like, everyone in the class had to get a sheet of paper and it was like an anonymous questionnaire kind of thing. And it was like, on average, how many days did you bring a gun to class, or how many did, like days did you show up under the influence of alcohol, or under the influence of drugs, or you know how many so, days did you bring? How many days did you bring drugs on campus and shit? So what? And I'm wait, like, what, what grade was this? Like, when was this? Uh, I feel like I got it almost every year. Kindergarten. In, God, what exactly think, happens to you if you say yes? I brought a gun to school. <laughs> I well, bring see, a gun that, every day. I'm heated. See, every that's day. the thing, though, is that all I'm I'm like, what? Who the fuck? I'm thinking personally, like, and I know my friends were thinking the same thing. Like, Funny and they meme. tell us, they tell us, like, this is anonymous. Like, none of your name's not going to be attached to this. I'm like, who the fuck is going to answer this truthfully? I'm sure as fuck not. I went to the extreme on every one of them huh. every year. Like I brought, <laughs> I brought a gun every day to school. I showed up drunk, high. I have drugs on me. I have weapons. Like I did that on every question. That's what like, I mean. Is like if you're gonna anonymous. have a bunch of kids do that, there's no way they're gonna answer that seriously. Yeah. No fucking shot. Any kid's gonna be like, like taking that seriously. That's so stupid. Well, yeah, I mean, I was kind of calling their bluff. Like, is it really anonymous, or are y'all going to, like, somehow the fucking SWAT find team's going to fucking roll in. Yeah. <laughs> Start like, hitting you with batons looking for your gun that you have every day. Yeah, I thought that was the dumbest shit. That's wild. I thought you were going to say, like, the anonymous, like, teacher ones, uh, where, like, the school board or whatever would send in a bunch of anonymous pamphlets. And you have to fill them out on, like, your teacher's performance and stuff. Oh, yeah. And if the teacher was, like, even slightly bad, everyone would just fucking, like, ruin their lives and just put <laughs> the worst possible things. Be like, teacher doesn't... It's like, how many hours a week does a teacher uh, give on extracurricular help? Everyone would just, like, bash, say, zero and shit, even if she's there every night till, like, 5 p.m. trying to help kids. If they were even slightly bad. Kids are just fucking ruthless. Yeah. Because there's no fuck. consequences at that age. Nope. So you can I wasn't in the class, but I know that one of uh, one of the classes that was at my school, they bullied the teacher out of there as well. <laughs> Kids are fucking awful. Yeah. Kids are mean. Like, I'm pretty sure the teacher let, like ran out of the classroom crying. Damn. Oh, like, no. Bruh. That's, that's sad now, but you it's know what? Like that's a grown ass man, dude. <laughs> <laughs> At the time, you would have been laughing your ass off, but it's so bad to look back yeah, on. Yeah, pretty fucked. <laughs> I convinced a substitute that uh, my best friend was autistic, and I was his handler. Yeah, that's really bad. What? Yeah. I mean, looking back on it, totally fucked, but <laughs> oh. I was a stupid kid. Yeah, we, uh, we, we had a kid do that in our class, and... He didn't tell anyone he was going to do it. The te uh, we had a substitute teacher that just came in, and she's going through roll call, and 
And he's like, yep, that's my name. And obviously they left a note saying, like, he's severely autistic. Um, and <laughs> she just let him do whatever he wanted. He got up, started screaming, running around, ran over the computers, played cool math games for, like, 50 minutes and left the room. And nobody checked on him. Nobody cared. <laughs> it was so fucked. Damn. <laughs> He just straight up pretended to be autistic to go play school math games for for uh, 50 minutes of the class. Yeah, yeah I was, think mine uh, was a little bit different. Good. I think me and my friend ended up like throwing a potato to each other or something. No shot. Yeah. <laughs> they just let you throw a fucking potato? Dude, one substitute, he had, uh, I think he had like a pomegranate. It was a pomegranate <laughs> or an orange or something like that. And I convinced him to throw it to me like a baseball. This was in a different class. And I, when he threw it to me, I took it and I threw it into the floor and I smashed it with my foot. And for like the next week when our regular teacher came back, we had like an ant problem in the classroom. Oh, no. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> Why would you smash it? Uh, dude, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he's the autistic one. Yeah, maybe maybe you weren't joking and you really were the autistic one. Beans, <laughs> beans. We had a uh, we had a very autistic kid at our school. Was it you? And <coughs> yep, for sure it was me. <coughs> but uh, he had anger issues sometimes. <laughs> Michael uh, Jackson sneezing. <laughs> he had anger issues sometimes, and when he was like freaking out. Uh, they would just let him calm down by just letting him like run in the hallway and stuff. So we'd have to lock the doors, and the over the thing like the PA system, they would say code R. <laughs> we all we all thought code it R code retard. Yeah. Code R <laughs> meant lock your door because he's There's running around in the retard. hallway breaking retard stuff. Is on the loose. <laughs> They would say, teachers, we have code R. Bruh. Oh, that was a good prank. Yeah. <laughs> it was, I don't know. We're like, what What would that stand for? Code red? It's like, I don't think so, man. They would just say code red. Is... They would just say yeah. code red, yeah. <laughs> exactly. yeah. Code yeah. R. You only say code man. Uh, abbreviated if it's something bad. Maybe he was dressing up as a pirate. Code R. Oh. <laughs> uh, funny joke. <laughs> Funny guy, McNasty. Nasty, the funny guy. <laughs> oh. I don't know if we asked about this, but did you guys ever get suspended from school? Nope. Mm -hmm. All the time. Yep. I was a what'd piece of shit. I was a good kid. What'd you, what'd you get suspended for, McNasty? Guns and drugs. <laughs> Acts of terrorism. Trapping. Bomb threats. <laughs> Making moonshine. Killing. Killing. Cooking meth. Or killing. <laughs> Do you guys ever have a bomb threat at your schools? Yeah, I think one time really? in elementary school. Yeah, I think it. I think one time at mine, somebody faxed it in. <laughs> faxed Man, in that's, a bomb threat. That's threatening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he says he's gonna bomb the. <laughs> 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 just fucking going off. It's like, oh god, I hope they don't send a fucking message by Morris code next. Like, <laughs> real intimidating. Just an owl with a letter. I don't know why my brain <laughs> thought that they faxed in the bomb. <laughs> just Faxed in a, a bomb vest. Picture. Just a picture of a, of, a, of a Mario bomb. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it'd really be worth it. And under it just says, it says, watch your back. It's a bomb threat. <laughs> yeah. Did y'all ever have a squirrel get in y'all's school? <laughs> you sounded so redneck right there. Y'all ever have a squirrel get in your old school? <laughs> Normal <laughs> questions that happen at school. And then just a squirrel. No. Actually, we had a deer. That was even worse. <laughs> we had a full on deer. Of course. <laughs> Fuck your deer. Mean, of course. Moose. Moose drill in school. I still Put have, your head down I under still the have desk. Have moose drill. <laughs> I have yet to see a moose still to this day. I've, I don't yeah, believe shut that. Up. I don't believe mm -hmm. that. They yeah. literally do not live where I live. We get it. The government's telling you to tell us that, okay? We know yeah. you're getting a yeah. cut on your taxes by telling yeah, us I get that. it. I get a yearly <laughs> check from the government for... Denying me For lying on the moose. We know you back. have moose insurance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that you can actually get, like, insurance that would cover a moose. I'm pretty damage. sure I fought it. Uh, you're pretty sure? Okay. What else would it have been? Doodle. Okay. okay, I got a question. I was thinking of this the other day. Does can you hold on? Can you talk about the squirrel thing? What happened? Okay, 
So, in my elementary school, a squirrel would occasionally run in. I don't know if it was the same squirrel or if it was a different <laughs> squirrel. But, it's like, once a month, the door to the outside little wing would be left open and some squirrels would... Or one squirrel would run in the hallway and the teachers would freak out and everyone screaming and shit and the squirrel would just like run around and then run out. I mean, it was nothing <laughs> too crazy. That's still just a very that happened a couple times bizarre like a thing cat. that that was like a common problem. Like a wild <laughs> really? cat just sliding on in. Yeah, no, yeah. we had a we had a deer. No code R though. Elephant. They just, they just yelled at him, shoot him out the code door while D. one person held it over. Held it open, and that was Code it. Code D's nuts. What were you going to ask, Soup? Fuck. Oh, uh, does the name Doo Diarrhea sound like a Mexican woman name? <laughs> um, um, I don't know. Let's spend some time on this one. <laughs> let's really dissect this one together. I think maybe, like, Rosa Martinez? <laughs> like, I don't know, like... <laughs> You know, doodle diarrhea. Okay. She, no, she ain't doing too well, I say. She smell like shit, no. homie. She got IBS. She got she got IBS, I say. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like a GTA. Oh, doodle diarrhea, man. D- that ass leaking like a faucet, I say. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Ew. You know, old doodle diarrhea, man. She got IBS, bro. Oh, man, she needs a lot of weight, man. Right? She's gonna be hospitalized. She's not doing too good, man. Mm. She's gonna pass. Why, why did you stupid. moan? This is stupid. <laughs> why did you moan <laughs> after talking about shit pouring out of her ass? <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst fucking bit I think we've ever <laughs> I liked it. That was it. awful. No, you didn't. Child. I like anything that has to do with poo poo. I was really hoping for an actual question. <laughs> Damn, McNasty, you're bringing so much to the table right now. Why don't you ask yeah, a genuine ask question? Yeah, ask a question. Okay. Go ahead. What would you do for a <laughs> I would have sex with doo-doo diarrhea. <laughs> Significantly worse than my joke? Four out of ten. Do you guys ever have any, like, really, really shitty or mean teachers? Since we're on the uh, topic of school. Yeah. Actually, I did. Yeah? Uh... <laughs> What my I had the bed dude is what <laughs> I had the bed oh dude <laughs> did my did my mic freak out <laughs> no you just like no you just don't. Your own words I had the bed no, oh, I had the best something. teacher ever which is what made it worse and then she got pregnant Chuck somebody baby. cumed in her oh that bitch and yeah some so somebody Slut. dropped the load in her so she was busy you know being pregnant. Uh, so we got a new teacher, and she was the biggest fucking cunt ever. She would like how big? There was a reading. I I don't know. There was <laughs> the one I remember. Several. That was whack. She like was targeting me too. We had reading time. Because brown. Everyone could go. Because your race. Everyone could go read a fucking book of their choice off the shelf. And she handed and you I the Quran. Always- <laughs> I was just about to say that. I was just. About to <laughs> <me too. laughs> Wish that would have been so much better. <laughs> no, I everyone got to go pick their book. I'd always go last. I'd go to pick like goosebumps or something cool, and she'd be like, "No, no, no! I'm gonna pick yours for you today." And I remember the book that she wouldn't. She would force me to fucking read. It was a dude named David who was gay, and he wanted to find out how to kiss other little boys. What? And it was just the the f- what? Part. The it Bible. Was so- it was wait, so wait, 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 wait. Still a little book, and she made me read it, and my mom called the school and was like, hey, he doesn't want to read that book, can he pick another one? And they're like, yeah, she shouldn't have forced him to read any of the books if he didn't want to read it. Wait, what grade was and this? I went there, she, grade one. It was what first grade. What the hell grade. kind of book was that in first it grade? It sounds like the Catholic version of the Bible. <laughs> Dude, it was so fucked. David and Goliath just... Making out. <laughs> yeah, it's literally the whole story. Adam and Steve. <laughs> it was uh, just this little, little dude named David who just wanted to f- love some dude ass. Mm-hmm. That and, seems and yeah. highly inappropriate for a first grade room. <laughs> yeah, it's a little weird. I feel like a little no, bit older it would have been fine. <laughs> Anyone making out in any type of relationship is kind of yeah, weird. Yeah, straight, whatever. If you're fucking an NES, like, <laughs> you just know. Yeah, it was just... I don't know. It was just the fact that everyone else got to pick, but she always made me read the little gay David book. Did she think you were gay? <laughs> I'm confi- I don't understand. I, I don't- Bro, I'm gr- in grade one, I- how the fuck do you even show signs of any sexuality in grade one? 
I, mean, I don't even she think don't. I can get boners. I don't know. I just... Yeah, no, she fucking sucked. That is... So, fuck that That bitch. is very bizarre. Dead. Yeah, she was already old back then. She was like 60. So I hope she's just rotting with the worms now. That's so she strange. I wonder if she knew that the book was fucked. Like, was she, was she giving it to you like the same book every time? Yes. Or? No, it was one book. And I refused to read it. I was like, I'm just not interested in this book. Do you remember the name? No, I don't remember the name. Um, mm. But yeah, I, she knew exactly what was going on. She re like wouldn't let me read any other book until I finished that one. That was her thing. She's like, no, you have to finish this one. This is a book I assigned to you. Everyone else got to pick, like, fucking Goosebumps. I was reading about a wolf ripping a bitch in half. And I'm <laughs> fucking listening about David, David with his little hard pecker. David. It was awful. <laughs> that is... Yeah, fuck that bitch. Uh, she weird. sucked. Yep, not fun. But my mom eventually got me out of that class because she's like, yeah, that's fucking weird. Uh-huh. Um, That she's forcing you to read a book and letting everyone else pick their own. So I'm going to request that you get transferred. And then I did... And then when the other teacher came back after pushing out a baby, I went back to her and life good. Oh, so, yeah, that was that was my bad teacher experience, which I think is a pretty bad teacher experience. Yeah, that's pretty shit. I had uh, I had one teacher who was, I mean, he was bad to a lot of people, but he was fucking awesome to me. He uh, he used to like throw shit at kids if they were misbehaving. He would <laughs> like, stone straight them. Up just, <laughs> like no, he just like. Was this when I, you were I still think... living in the Middle East, or no, no? This oh. is this is Canada. Okay, okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there was there was. I think I've told this story before. There was this little little deaf dude, um, <laughs> who sat next to me and he was a computer moron. science teacher. Ha ha, deaf. How dare he? A little little deaf dude, and he could hear, but like barely with his hearing aids. Um. So he, he was, yep, he had AIDS. <laughs> Ran his ears. <laughs> <laughs> he had ear AIDS. Uh, yeah, he was watching porn in class. Don't know what the fuck was going on there. <laughs> watching porn. Was it really loud and you couldn't hear it? <laughs> he, well, <laughs> it started off quiet. Oh, and he couldn't man. hear it. <laughs> and he just started turning it up. Let's and go. I'm sitting next to him. I was like, bro, what the fuck are you doing? I, and my teacher just. What grade was this in? This was grade 10. This was high school. Oh, I thought you were going to say grade Actually, 1 again. Actually, it might have been grade 11. <laughs> like, no, no, no. What the no, fuck no. happened this in might have been first high, grade? This might have been grade 11. I don't remember. So does being deaf make you retarded? Like, why the fuck would you watch porn? You can see dude, the Dude, he was just a fucking... He was just a weirdo. I don't know. He wasn't... He was just a weirdo. Like, he wasn't... He didn't have any other issues than being... Deaf. He was actually just a fucking weird dude. Yeah, he pretty sure but, uh, no, you gotta have some issues to watch porn at full volume in class. Well, my teacher's reaction... Is what made this so memorable for me. My teacher's just sitting there, trying to ignore it, whatever, not really acknowledging just it. Just beating off. <laughs> <the sound. laughs> After like 15 <laughs> seconds, he stops writing with the on the chalkboard, erases all of it to get the brush as chalky as possible, and then just full on lines up like a baseball pitch and just fucking wails the chalk brush center mass like it hit the deaf dude like right in the chest above his phone. Chalk just like puffed up everywhere. And he's like, stop fucking watching porn in my classroom! And just <laughs> fucking lost it. Just started screaming Holy at him. Shit. That cannot be legal. It, dude, it was so fucked. I mean, nobody Did was gonna say anything. Lose their job? No, no, he's 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 still at the school. <laughs> okay. Dude, every single nobody nobody would have snitched. Everyone was like, yeah, yeah, you should. Yeah, that was that was fair. I mean, he didn't. It was a fucking chalk brush. It weighs like two grams. He just hit him in the chest with it. Big puff of chalk. I laughed my ass off. Everyone was dying. He yelled at him. Guy stopped watching porn, and that was it. Okay, well, did he hear him? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he was screaming at him. He heard it. Okay. Did he have to scream, no. like, extra loud? <laughs> did he have to sign he it would, to uh, him to <laughs> stop watching porn? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he uh, screamed extra loud because he was deaf or extra loud because he was really pissed off that we're talking about, like, fucking hexadecimals, and this kid's just uh, going to town <laughs> on Pornhub. Did you get horny yeah. off hexadecimals? Yeah, I don't, I don't know what inspired that. I don't really. I think he was just doing it to be an asshole. He was kind of a douche. So I had a teacher throw his shoes to be a at students. Deaf. Really? Yeah. Anytime somebody would not be paying attention, uh, he would take off his shoe. Is he Mexican? And, what? Is that a Mexican yeah, that's thing? Mexican mom energy. Yeah. yeah. Throw like chunkless. Or Arab, Arab dad. No, he's just a white dude. He was a. 
I'm surprised I didn't get a shoe thrown at me for my story. Yeah, for real. <laughs> but yeah, no, I wonder how they can, like, get away with shit like that. I don't know. I had a teacher that had a, uh... I mean, probably not anymore. He had a, um... Uh, like a... Like a water gun. He would... He would, toot toot and, like, shoot a bunch of water at you if you were, like, falling asleep or something. I feel like that... That's that, actually kind of fun. That, that wouldn't Did age well. Did y'all have any teachers that actually, You're, like, uh, gonna get a bruise from fucking... Squirt gun. Did y'all have any teachers that actually brought guns to class? No. What the? That's f a new fuck? thing. <laughs> no. I I had. I a feel like I was the was last uncle. like year like graduation before guns started becoming like a school thing. Well, That's so fucked. I'm. I think my fifth grade teacher had a gun. I, I don't. No one really ever said anything, but I'm pretty sure word got out that he he always had a gun with him. Bro, that's so weird. He's trying to hmm. protect and serve. But, like, it was back in the day where it was, like, kind of like, you know, the principal and everything. They trust him because he's been there for so long. And, yeah, he just has it to protect us, I guess. I mean, good for him for at least, you know. Yeah, guns weren't as controversial back then. Now it's yeah, just like, I mean, good for him for trying to, you know, be prepared. But, dude, that's so fucking weird. Yeah. yeah. Could just, uh. I'm surprised, like, parents would be okay with that. Could just flip the switch mentally and. <laughs> <laughs> it just yeah. it just be open hunting season. Just think that we're all zombies or something, and then you one know, one complaining you know, kid. And it's real it, fun. It's came over. This KD would you be getting up there in age too. Do you guys have a nope. favorite uh, alternative culture that's not your own? Black. <laughs> really? Like, do you mean that, or do you mean like? Yeah. Like, do you have like, like a football like, bro an, culture? Another culture, well, like any culture, is any culture that you like. That's not your own. Do you like Asian? White people don't have culture. No, they really don't. <laughs> Our cultures are kind of just a mix of okay, like a bunch well, of other cultures. You say that, but I enjoy golf. I enjoy pimento cheese sandwiches. I enjoy mayonnaise. I enjoy uh, chicken salad. Okay, the best golfer I in the world. Enjoy is black. club crackers. Okay, so okay, and Chick Fil A. I enjoy penny loafers. Dressing up as and Chick Fil A as a cow <laughs> on, at Chick Fil A to get a free meal. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I don't. I don't, know. I don't. I don't know. I don't think so. I eat a lot of Chinese food. Does that count? Yeah, but do you really want to go live in China? Chinese food. Do you really want to go live in China? No. Do you really want to risk your social credit? <laughs> uh, I see. Um, I don't know, McNasty. Do you aspire to be like Slavian or something? No, this is a general McNasty question. He wants to be a BTS member. There's just no like other like any culture that like interests you. He's in the BTS army. It's not really like, just you know, say it, bro. Just, we're accepting we're here. Not, just say we're it. We're not. You don't have to necessarily like partake in the culture, but there's no other cultures that you're like you kind of have interest in. Yeah. You know? I, I mean, I I don't know. I feel like Certain every elements culture from, has yeah yeah something that's interesting, but I don't like I don't have the need to like fully uh you know insert myself into another culture. Yeah, that's not what I meant. I kind of just I didn't mean like become a fucking weeb. I just meant like. Oh, well, yeah, I don't yeah. know. I don't know. If it's not in, like, a five-mile radius of me, and if it doesn't look <laughs> like me, I, I usually hate it. So if it doesn't look like me and talk like me, then I'm probably going to pull out a gun on it. I have never so, related right? to something more in my life. <laughs> that is a prank. It is a joke. Should have seen your face. Okay. Yeah, no, I don't know. I feel like the most stereotypical <sighs> answer is, like, overweight neckbeards wanting to be in Japan, thinking that Japan women will love them. Mm -hmm. And that they can go be an anime guy over there, but then they realize Japan is like literally just like every other country in the world. I don't know. I feel like if I'm interested in something, then I'll like watch videos about it and like read up on it or something. But like, yeah, I don't, just take bits and pieces of it. Yeah, I don't like, I won't like fully submerge myself into something unless I really enjoy it. So, and I feel like I, I don't, I don't know. I feel like I'm kind of at the age. Well, not necessarily at the age, but I'm kind of at a point in life where there's not really many other things I don't think I'd be interested in, like, fully, I guess. That's fair. I don't know. I mean, I try to find, like, new, interesting, cool shit, but, like, I don't know. Would anyone agree? Yeah, I'm kind of on the... I'm, no, I'm kind of on the same page, to be honest. It's like... Uh, I don't know. I, as Well, your, your taste and stuff is obviously going to change as you, like, grow up. Like, I don't know, there was a point where... I was absolutely obsessed with competitive hockey, and that's, like, all I cared about. And then, obviously, now I don't really care too much about it. So I'm sure that could be said again at a later point in my life. But as of the current moment, no, there's nothing, like, that I'm super attracted to learning about that I don't already 
I want to learn more about food and like uh, like food and drink and stuff like that. That's pretty interesting to me. Like culinary. I feel like Smitty has shit. opened that for me, dude. Smitty, going out to eat with Smitty is is a fucking event. It is not I just bet. like grabbing dinner with normal people. It's like you got to try every fucking drink, every appetizer, every main, every fucking thing on the menu. And if you don't, he'll hit you in the head with some. Yeah, I it like is good food. Fucking awesome. So as I get older, I like, I don't know. I'm more interested in like trying like new. Like food shit that I haven't tried and like yeah. better quality food and better quality like alcohol instead of drinking yeah. like four loco. <laughs> yeah, that's fair for sure. <laughs> yeah, I think that one's pretty reasonable. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Food is uh food is awesome. I the thing I wanted to learn is like how to like cook a lot better. I um, could I could but, use that too. Everything I man, eat, eat is like heated yeah, up in the I, microwave. I, I kinda looped that in as that well. That gravy toast guy. Yeah, cleaning is is ass. <laughs> And, like, it was nice when I lived at my parents because you just pretend no mess there. Yeah. And clean, like, half of it. But when you live alone, it's like, damn, ain't nobody going to pick that up, huh? Me when you I know, poop on the floor. Fucked there. You know what, dude? It's your own home. <laughs> you feel free to poop wherever you want. <laughs> okay. I love that for you. Thanks, babe. I'm glad you finally have that freedom to <laughs> poop wherever you want. I want to go in your poop chamber. <laughs> sure, man. That's what my basement's going to be. I feel like that's just your bedroom now is a little <laughs> shit chamber. Poop. Just just off camera, there is a heaping pile of do shit. Yeah. Just years of crusted All shit. All over his feet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ew. Oh, uh, McNasty. Huh. Did I already ask you about your cousin? I can't remember if I asked you or not. What about him? About Wasn't it your cousin that was still in shit? Uh-huh. Is there any update? Have you talked to him anymore, or did nope. you shoot him? So, there's nothing. <laughs> no. <laughs> so y'all just, no just let him let him steal and called it a day. Did they ship him across the border never to be seen again? Like what? What's happening? <laughs> yes. Like, can you not answer this for legal purposes? Or? It's not really coming around our family anymore. Okay. Okay. He already proved that he's not. He already proved that he's not. Uh, he just just wants to continue stealing. So. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. All right. I got you. Well, no more to talk about after that. Depressing. Boring okay. Another question then. A little uh, more <laughs> uplifting. I feel like. But <laughs> <laughs> but stepped on some toes with that one. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna ask you since you asked that question about the alternative like culture kind of thing. Are you kind of feeling that way about colognes? <laughs> no, I don't know if that's a really. Yeah, a culture what's going thing. on there? What's with the cologne I thing? I feel like a just... col but cologne is definitely a culture kind of thing. I feel, right? Yeah, Persian I guess, culture. Yeah, a, I don't. I, I just there's a cologne. cologne well, I, culture. I so basically, uh, I nightclub um, Arab guys never really own like good <laughs> cologne in my life. Always own like cheap, shitty cologne. That's oh, I smell like shit. Ass. And then <laughs> I just decided to like look up like the five best colognes that get suggested a lot, and I bought them, and I realized how much better they smell, and they last a lot longer. And then I just started buying a bunch of colognes after that. Is that something that you would ever pursue like a career in or something, or? Probably not. How do you pursue a career in cologne? How do you? <laughs> what do you mean? Listen you up, you no... fucking you, you like little make fucking my own condescending fucking dickhead. <laughs> what are you I asked you about? a genuine question, you, you fucker. <laughs> How do you think you make they... your career off someone else's video games right now? You understand that, right? Like, why is cologne a stretch? But you make else's a lot more game. money than the average person, and well, you could easily pursue a career in cologne making. And it seems like since you're interested in that, I don't uh, know. The possibility making, could reviewing. be there. It's not like a fucking. It's not like say McNasty. You think you're gonna own a fucking ranch full of cattle? <laughs> like it's, it's something you're actually interested in, <laughs> dickhead. I don't Fuck know. You. I don't. I wasn't trying to come off as condescending. <laughs> I just didn't understand <laughs> like <laughs> what would I do <laughs> in that? <laughs> what would I do in that field? I wouldn't well, even know makes, where to start. Fucking ass. I wouldn't even who know where to start. Cologne? Yeah, where? How do you think it got okay, to your desk? That's not what he asked. <laughs> that's not, dude. I was just asking: Are you that interested in it? Is that it would be something that if you I would came even off consider? as condescending, I did mean to. I wasn't trying. Yeah, to pancake McGee. It's all right. Are you saying that because it's pancake on your desk? Yeah. <laughs> did you just look <laughs> over and see I was that. I gonna say soup. I thought it was you melting the pancake before yeah. screen, or before uh, podcast. I don't. Would you pursue a career in it, McNasty? Answer the question. I. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think oh so. Oh my god, this fucking guy, <laughs> dude. Know. You're just the most boring I'm telling person. You the answer. <laughs> just <laughs> say yes and to. quit YouTube already. Well, I, like, is, is there like a? Are you just interested in cologne? Just of like how they smell? You just rating them on your Instagram story just for the fuck of it? Pretty like, much, yeah. You, I mean, yeah. 
Like, you could do that and also get paid for it. Like, that's another option, too. Yeah, like, I'm just wondering if that's, like, something that you're, like, you like a lot. I mean, I, someone that posts so, so much about something, I would assume that they liked it a lot. I don't know. I do. It's more of just, like, a, more of just a, like hobby? a hobby, I guess. Okay, well, really... then, see, that's a good yeah. answer. See, you could have said that five <laughs> fucking minutes ago. <laughs> it's it's a a a dumb dumb question. I can't <laughs> believe it. Like I said, I wasn't trying to be condescending. I was just confused uh, about right. the question. It's all right. I'm just fucking with you. No, he's not. He's going to bash your head when he sees you. <laughs> I'm going to put mace in your cologne, bitch. Oh, <laughs> 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 well, bear mace in the cologne. <laughs> Ugh. Well, like, is there a, a subculture or whatever you're interested in? Yeah, like you asked the question: Is there something yeah. in your life? Uh, no, I don't. I don't even know why. I just, I just came up with that randomly off the top Feet. of my head. Just wanted to ask. Freaked. <laughs> skate. Is that a Mate. culture? Age skate. Mate. Some people. I don't know if that's Feet a culture. culture. It's just a. I don't, don't want to say hobby. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> my hobby <laughs> is foot. Uh, I mean, you do you. You know? No, not me. No, 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 no. <laughs> I do fart. Yeah. You do yeah, do. I don't know about that. <laughs> do do doing do, doing Whoa. do, doing do fart. How much do Ew. could do 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 if do could do 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 <laughs> do do do? I wish I was more of a like handyman. Same. Dude, I am fucking useless at that shit, and I realized that when I got a house, that I don't know anything about anything. Like I actually could yeah. not do a single fucking. If something breaks. I'm just, it's game over. I'm killing myself. At least we have YouTube now. Can't imagine buying a house like 50 years ago all on my own and... See, I, I think I have a fear of, like, fucking something up more than it's already fucked up. Yeah. Right. And I don't want to be made a fool of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I also, I don't know. I feel like it's also good to have somebody who knows exactly what they're doing so that, like, if they notice something else is breaking, they can be like, oh, while well, I'm here, like... This does need to be replaced for future reference. So you're not fixing one thing and then something else breaks because you fix that thing. I don't know. I don't know. I just like having people who know what the fuck they're doing to do things. Yeah, I grew up with a... Other than me just guessing. With a dad that worked in construction and maintenance his whole life. So I've always kind of had that like easily at hand. Yeah, that's pretty nice. My dad worked in sales. So he... Uh, <laughs> he probably he can't anything. replace an outlet. Uh... I mean, I could probably Maybe? do that. Possibly? Uh, that's not super hard. It's not hard, but it's easy to get shocked if you don't know what you're doing. I've done that a couple times. Dude, I got well, shocked. I got shocked <laughs> yesterday, actually. From what? How? What were you doing? <laughs> uh, this isn't a bit game. Either. Low Did game somebody of, walk in naked? <laughs> low game, a fork <laughs> outlet with the boys? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fork outlet chicken. <laughs> Hold on. This Tuesday <laughs> only. Yeah, wh what happened? <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's Tuesday only at Applebee's. No, I was, uh, I was like fucking around with uh, some shit for my band, and the this interface that I have in my room or in our in our jam room had like all these fucking cables going to the back of it, and I was like looking at something because we had like a a certain kind of cable that I wanted to like change out for another cable or whatever. And it tingled my balls. <laughs> was it like a hard shock or just kind of like a... Uh, it was kind of like an extreme version of those pieces of gum that when you grab it, it tingles, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this okay. Is, yeah. I thought you meant those actual little gum. The no. little taser. <laughs> like when you like, grab five fuck? gum, you know that yeah, feeling? Yeah, like the yeah. Little, little fake taser things. Yeah. Damn, that's... <laughs> something... Scary monsters in our did your, did, your, did your hair stick up? No, but I got a boner. <laughs> okay, well that's What'd you do something. with it? I immediately... Did you fuck the Iron Giant afterwards? Yeah. That's good. Huge shock boner. I immediately fucked the earth as to ground myself. <laughs> that's mm. good. Use your dick as like a lightning rod. Joke. Yeah. That sounds yeah. like something a, a yoga woman would say. Your lay How dare you? Nope, that's yodeling woman. <laughs> what is the difference between yoga and yogurt? And yogurt. I I don't know. I really don't know the hey, difference between those two things. Hey, come get your gurt. It's all sappy and gooey and shit over here. What are, what are, what, what really is a good black guy? Doing? Good job. I like you as a black guy. I feel like do would do a better black guy. Nah. What do you what do we mean by do a do better only black was guy? Irish. What are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What do you think we're talking about? I hope we're talking about butt sex. 
Hey, you're gonna fuck a black guy that's just really charitable. Mm. Just a really good black guy. What? It's black guy like in a wheelchair? Dot gov? <laughs> <laughs> just a PNG of a black guy in a wheelchair. <laughs> Did everyone answer their favorite Thanksgiving food? Green bean casserole, baby! <laughs> that was like an hour ago! Green yeah. bean casserole gang? So good! <laughs> Leave a comment for your favorite uh, Thanksgiving meal. Also, if you're not drinking uh, G Sups at Thanksgiving with your family, then your parents don't fucking love that. That's true, okay? actually. So use code Goons and get some G Sups, or you're worthless as a human. Yeah. If you want to earn God's favor, use our code in the description. Yeah. If you want to go to heaven when you die, you'll use code Goons to get G Sups. Use code. Use code. 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 Your code. Your your your. Yeah. That's it. Use that. Type all that in the search bar, see what happens. Use gamer subs to stuff the turkey with. Okay, does this mean we're better sauce? Dude, someone, gamer one subs. of our listeners should season a turkey in G subs and tweet it at us. Okay, I'm actually interested in that. Yeah, that'd be sick. Okay, first person to do that and tweet it at us, you have to hold up a little piece of paper that says goons on it. Right, goons on the piece of paper. Hold it up to a seasoned turkey. Please make sure it's a G. With, <laughs> with covered in G subs. Covered in G subs. That would make and no sense. We'll we'll <laughs> PayPal you fifty bucks. We'll PayPal you fifty bucks. It's such a He's random ass that. photo. <laughs> Just a, so well, hold on, what are we just doing? Just a purple was... turkey and a slur on a piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what, is, what do they gotta do? Yeah, what do they gotta do? Season the whole turkey in G subs. Okay. Okay. And that's and it. Hold up a piece of paper that says "goon" so that we know it's not photoshopped. <laughs> so we know it's not that Hollywood Bollywood magic. I don't know if there's any magic in Bollywood. <laughs> <laughs> All right, do the outro. Is that our outro? <laughs> <laughs> the Bollywood outro? <laughs> Spider Man. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> oh my god. Please Allah. Please Allah seven days a week. What, what were any of those here. words? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, like and subscribe, download on Spotify. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for listening. Uh, code Goons for Lord Jesus. Born, I'm here yeah, yeah, baby. Yeah, hope baby. You guys have a happy Hi. Thanksgiving. <laughs> or we hope you had a th had. happy Thanksgiving. Yes, yes, yes. Had, had. had. I hope you had, had a fart. Oh, no. Goodbye. <laughs>